Welcome to Tunisia's Lux Beauty Tips and Potpourri, the channel where we get it all in. You can also learn more about the I Am Melanin Magic brand. Thank you for stopping by. I want to take a few moments to share with you some of the successes that the I Am Melanin Magic hair brand is having. Jimmy here, along with his father, have been dealing with hair loss presenting as bald patches and thinning throughout his hair for over 10 years. He decided, by way of his girlfriend, to give I Am Melanin Magic a try. With consistent use of the I Am Melanin Magic Magical Hair Growth Serum, using it five days a week for eight weeks, these are the results that he was able to get. I Am Melanin Magic, and so are you. To Tunisia's Locks, Beauty Tips, and Potpourri, also known as the I Am Melanin Magic brand, we are talking about something very important today, this afternoon, the middle of the night or the evening, that has to do with your right to direct and control your own hair care destiny. Yes, we are talking about the five top reasons that you should learn to become a do-it-yourselfer, or in other words, feel comfortable and learn how to be self-reliant when it comes to your own hair. So if this looks like a video you wanna stick around for, let's go ahead and give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you to all of you who are always out here, who are my ride or die OGs. Those of you who show love, show love, show love. Okay, let's get into the first reason, what it is that might make you a really good candidate for becoming a do-it-yourselfer. Now, by the way, I'm a do-it-yourselfer. I'm a do-it-yourselfer now full-time because I have knotted locks. Knotted locks is a type of lock that when you transition to it, <clears throat> you always have to do your own, at least at this point in time. As more people learn how to do it and decide what they want to do with it, Miss Blakes is okay with folks doing other people's uh, hair, I think, at some point. But right now, you must go to her and get the training because she specializes in working with that population of people, us, otherwise known as your do-it-yourselfers, who do not have any support out here when you decide to take your hair care destiny into your own hands. So for knotted locks, as I said, I'm going to be always doing mine. But when I had sister locks, I still needed to learn how to do them on my own. I am someone that thinks outside the box. I do believe in independence and self-reliance, which is the number one reason why you are a good candidate for it. Because if you are someone that likes to know how to do whatever it is you're depending on someone else to do, if you are someone who can think outside the box, who is independent, if you are someone who wants to be involved in the decision-making process and are not willing to, or is not, are not willing to accept anything less, then you are an excellent candidate for someone who should become a do-it-yourselfer. Do-it-yourselfers are of people of a certain mindset. They are the kind of people who oftentimes take extra initiative. They are oftentimes catalysts for change in other areas of their lives. They're oftentimes leaders and not followers. They are not the type of people who can sit by as passive standbyers and be satisfied. They are not those people who will be passing down the highway as looking at the spectator traffic. They're going to keep going because they're independent in their thinking. They're movers and shakers, and they would never want to turn their entire hair care destiny over to someone else. So even though I was not a full-time sister locker who did her own retightenings, I made sure that I knew how to do my own retightening very early on in the journey by beginning to experiment with one lock, then two locks, then three, then four, and so forth and so on. As a matter of fact, there is a sister on our channel who's a part of our family who um, texted me and she had recently become a do-it-yourselfer. And this is what she said. Shout out to the beautiful Yolanda Berry. I am doing well and glad to hear that you are too. I have to take a minute to give you credit for encouraging me to learn to retighten my own locks. I'm one year locked. I couldn't lie down for four nights after my last session with my loctician because of the pain. During one of your live videos, I heard you state that if you can retighten one, then you can do two. I was encouraged, so I tried it and successfully self-retightened my locks without any formal training. So please know 
that you, and she puts in all quotes, are helping people and that you, all quotes, are appreciated. She's talking to me, but I'm telling you that you're helping yourself. You are helping yourself when you learn to be self-reliant, independent, and the person who is in charge of your own hair care destiny. You always hear me say you must be an active participant in your own hair care rescue. So she is most certainly joined the club of those people who are venturing out, pulling away from the pack, and deciding that they want to do it their way. She brought up a very important point though, which brings me to number two. She brought up the fact that in her last retightening, she was in pain for four days. You've heard me talk about it many, a, many, a, many, a, many a time. And I will say it until the cows come home. I will say it until I am silenced, if that should ever happen. And that is, your retightening should not hurt. They should not be painful. They should not be too tight. You should not be getting them too often. When you get up out of that chair or when you sit down in that chair and you make the decision to put that person in charge of your hair care destiny, you need to walk out of that chair feeling just like you did when you sat down, which was pain-free. It should never hurt. It should never feel uncomfortable. If you are crying when you go home, if you are losing locks, if your locks are thinning, if you are experiencing other hair care concerns while still going to see someone on a regular basis and giving them the carte blanche to do whatever they want to do, you might want to consider becoming a do-it-yourselfer. Number three, Loctician issues. Outside of the aforementioned, let's say, for example, you move and you can't find a decent loctician or your particular loctician is going on maternity leave or she's no longer going to be doing locks or she stops returning your phone calls and she just boots you off as a client. Y'all know we had a story time on here with a sister who shared about a year and a half ago about how her loctician just dropped her. Let's say you move or how about if you decide to leave the country and live abroad for a while or even just go on a vacation for three or four months. Should you really have to worry about your hair? Should you have to anchor yourself in a place or be in the same place indefinitely because that's where your loctician is? No. If your loctician is geographically undesirable, if she is no longer available, or whatever the multitude of reasons may be, she may be uncredible, literally incredible. She may be unprofessional. You may feel as though she's not making the best decisions with regard to your hair. You need to become a do-it-yourself. Now let's talk about the other really big reason is number four, financial considerations, which are really big considering the fact that based on my latest data and your contributions to the channel, it can run you as much as $380 to get a retightening. And some people are requiring retightenings every four to six weeks, which you have heard me warn you about so many times. Please get out of that click if you are doing your retightenings that often. Please know that it may not be your financial concern, but it is most certainly a financial concern for your loctician because she's getting that fat check from you every four weeks, irregardless of the fact that your hair is likely saying, stop, stop, red flag, waving the surrender flag. So financial considerations, maybe you're unemployed. Maybe you have run into some type of economic hardship. Maybe your loctician consultant has just doubled her prices. Maybe you're moving from the East Coast where maybe your retightenings are running you 175, 200, and you're moving to the West Coast where they're running you 250, 275, and you're just like, forget it. I need to learn how to do this on my own because I deserve better. Let's, let's talk about the last, number five. The last, which to me is one of the most important considerations to why you might would decide to do this, and that is you take pride in being able to do things your own, pull away from the pack, and you're not concerned about what other people think. Okay, this is similar to number one in the sense that if you become a do-it-yourself or you have to be comfortable with your own capacity to take charge of your hair. You cannot be someone who is afraid. You cannot be someone who worries about what someone else is gonna say, such as you no longer have sister locks because you did your own retightening and you didn't take the sister locks retightening class. No, you cannot be that type of person. You have to be the type of person 
who can think outside of the box, who makes his or her own decisions, who empowers his or her own self to do whatever they think is in their own best interest with no regard whatsoever for what the brand may say or what your other sister locker friend may say or what the sister locker face group support groups may say as they cast you out as some of us have called from the sister lock mafia group. These are things that are very important because oftentimes when you become a do-it-yourselfer, you're gonna have to stand on your own with regard to self-appraisal with regard to self-evaluation, you'll be taking on all of the responsibilities should something go wrong, but you will also be building your confidence as you continue to learn the craft or the art and as you continue to practice. You have to be someone who is not overly obsessed with perfection because initially your tightening tension is gonna be a little different than your lactations. You may not be a whiz with the parts, which as far as I'm concerned, the grids are one of the worst things that you really could afford to be worried about in the first place. You may be someone who you start to notice that your locks in the areas where you are doing them look a little bit different than maybe what you were seeing when you left your loctician consultant. But always remember the pluses of doing your own hair and not having to rely on some, someone else for something that is this important far outweigh any considerations with regard to consistency, any considerations with regard to inconvenience or the time that it may take the learning curve, i.e. that it may take for you to become really good at it and for you to become faster at it. Your hair is gonna love it. Your hair will feel more loved on. You will actually be able to pay attention to what is going on with your locks. You will notice each and every subtle change. You will hear your hair cry out when it needs to go in a different direction and only you, you and only you will be in the driver's seat. I hope this video gave you some valuable information. You are with Tunisia Ali of Tunisia's Locks, Beauty Tips, and Potpourri. And for those of you who know me well and have been to the I Am Melanin Magic website to purchase our premium blend, our Magical Hair Growth Serum, or the newer Fearless Follicles to meet all of your hair care needs, I want to give you a shout out and I want to say thank you. And for those of you who are purchasing the anti-aging serum and you are watching your skin be smoothed out by the natural exfoliators, the conditioners, the moisturizers and humectants, shout out to you as well. I'm sending you lots of love. I appreciate all that you do for the channel and I will see you next time. If you are not using Melanin Magic Hair Oil, then what are you using? Hi, I'm the creator of the I Am Melanin Magic Skin and Hair Care brand. The I Am Melanin Magic Hair Oil is our premier product. It is the leading high-end supplement for your mane. It reduces breakage and promotes growth and can be used on all hair types and looks, from straightened hair and micro locks to wigs and protective styles. It's antifungal, antibacterial, and it's antifungal. So you know you're protected. It softens and conditions your hair, and it's anti-frizz too. Hey guys, so I started using this oil called I Am Melanin Magic since February of this year, and check out the new growth. Like, it's insane. Not only did it help with my new growth, but it smells amazing too. See the dramatic improvements Denisha has made after not having hair around her edges for three years. Tanya's hair had been like this for almost 20 years and while getting injections. Her doctor said it was scarred and would never grow back. After four weeks of using I Am Melanin Magic, this is what she looked like. I Am Melanin Magic did this to Danette's hair after a short time. This is really all your hair needs. It's rich with antioxidants, loaded with growth promoting ingredients. Look at the growth of my hair. It's amazing, the product speaks for itself. Order yours today and don't delay. Don't delay, purchase yours today. I am Melanin Magic and so are you.